Howdy, howdy, everyone. My name is Eugene Hughes, and I run a little website called HowToBiab.com. How to brew in a bag. I've got the bug. I want to brew me some good beer. I don't want to spend a lot of time. I don't want an incredible amount of equipment. You do need a good bit of equipment to brew beer. I want to simplify it. I want to do small batches. I've never brewed beer in my life. So yeah, I've got a website. But what, what I'm going to do with the website is I want to share with you my experiences in learning, my experiences in goofing up, and share with you my successes in brewing small batches of beer. My website, howtobiab.com, is going to showcase my efforts. I'm going to share with you my videos. I'm going to share with you where I got all of my equipment. I got it through Amazon. I'm going to show you specifically what equipment I purchased. Uh, I've got a complete list with all of the links. Go to the website, howtobiab.com. Look at the uh, upper uh, right corner there. You see the link that says BIAB Equipment, and you'll get a complete list of all the uh, stuff that I bought to brew and links to everything on Amazon. The first thing I got was the book How to Brew. Everything you need to know to brew beer right from the first time by John Palmer. The guy is an absolute guru in beer brewing. I like the, the stuff that he shared. He's very knowledgeable. Next up on our list, you're going to need to be measuring your ingredients to brew beer. So you need a good uh, kitchen scale. Got this one right here. Has a tear function on it so you can zero out your container. You can do it in ounces and grams. I got me a flask for starting my yeast. You want to get your yeast a good start before you pitch it into your wort and start the fermentation process. We're going to be boiling lots of water. I got me a nice propane cooker here from a turkey fryer type setup here. I'm going to be doing smaller batches so I don't need a huge brew kettle. I went and opted for a four gallon brew kettle, a 16 quart stainless stock pan here. That's going to be plenty for me. I'm only wanting to do two, two and a half gallon batches. So that's all I need. Stainless steel spoon here. I think it's a 21 inch stainless spoon. I'm going to be doing sparging. Basically you take the grain bag out of your first mash out and then you're going to be pouring some water on it. So I got me another two gallon pot so I can heat up the water. And I also got me the measuring cup here so I can use that for a sparge. The grain steeping bag, this I'm going to use for my hop additions while I'm boiling my wort. For my main grain bag, I'm going to be getting a five gallon paint strainer bag from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. You're going to want to measure your wort. The liquid that you're boiling, you need to make sure that you have it at a specific gravity, that you're getting enough of the sugars out of your grains so you can make the style of beer that you want. You need one of these hydrometers here. They're not that expensive. Tell you how, many, how much sugar is in your wort. So when your wart's done, you're going to need to siphon it off into a uh, carboy. So I've got the, the auto siphon here. This is what everybody uses. I got me some additional uh, tubing that I want to have replacement tubing. Everything you're going to be uh, transferring into after you boil your wort must be clean. So I got me a carboy cleaning brush. It also must be sanitized. I mean almost like operating room sterilized sterilization. Star sand is what the pros use. A lot of people recommend that. I'm going with small batches so I got me two of the three gallon glass carboys. You're going to uh, take your wort, drain it into there for your fermentation process. I got some carboy handles to make them easier to move around. A funnel, you never know when you're going to need a funnel, so I got that. Two of the uh, the bubblers, the airlock bubblers, to uh, let the, uh, the gases escape during the fermentation process. Now, with the fermentation process, I live in Texas. During the summer, my house is about 78 degrees. That's a little bit warm for an ideal fermentation, so I'm going to be building a fermentation chiller. And with that, I need a, a control. So I'm using this, this digital control here. Uh, it, it, you can set it and forget it. I'm going to be putting ice in a, basically a big styrofoam cooler that I'm going to build. It's going to have the temperature controller. You're going to put ice in the bottom of it. You're going to put your fermentation uh, your carboy in there with your uh, your wort, your pitched wort with the uh, the yeast in it, and you're going to be uh, letting it ferment for several days. Here we're going to keep a temperature of about 64 degrees, something like that. This controller here 
is going to have 110 volts supplying it. Then you're going to need 12 volts for the fan. What this is going to do is when it gets warm, because the yeast as well creates its own warmth, it's going to turn this 12 volt fan on. This fan here is, uh, has plenty of, uh, this fan here will move plenty of air. You need a 12 volt power supply to power the fan. I've got a, a battery charger, a 12 volt battery charger laying around. I'll use that. But if you don't have one laying around, I recommend this one here. I'm going to use just basically dryer duct that's going to suck the air up from the bottom of the, the chiller and push the cold air on top of the fermentation bottles. When you're done fermenting, you need you a, uh, a bottling bucket with a spigot on it. You're going to siphon the fermented beer out of your carboy into the bottling bucket, and you're going to uh, need you some sterilized beer bottles. I've got this beer bottle tree that's going to hold my sanitized beer bottles. That way we keep all the germs out. I got me some 3 8 inch uh, clear vinyl tubing, which I'm going to connect to my beer bottle filler, which I'm going to hook up to the bottling bucket. And once you fill it with beer, you're going to need to cap it. So I got the caps, and then I got the, uh, the, the, the capper tool there. Okay, well, my next video, I'm going to have it on the website here, howtobiab.com. My next video is going to be building the fermentation chiller. I'm going to uh, also give you some videos on uh, sorting through all of my newfound toys and share it with you. I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe because there's a lot more coming. Thanks. Bye.